Сладостей туда. Yeah. 
Him, but their trust in Him. Alleluia, alleluia. upon thy people, upon thy people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. 
Bring my soul out of prison that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. The middle of the days is come. Which begins with the Savior's arising. And whose end is sealed by the divine Pentecost. Which is illumined by the radiance of both and united both. And showing forth the glory which is to come. It honoreth before in the Master's ascension. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Zion heard and was glad when the resurrection of Christ was announced, and his faithful children rejoiced, seeing him who by the Spirit Washeth away the defilement wrought by the murder of Christ, and it maketh ready, celebrating the glutton midpoint between the two feet. If thou shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness, as hath been written the abundant outpouring. Of the divine spirit upon all draweth nigh. This proclaimeth beforehand the day fixed as a midpoint. After the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, which was given by him to the disciples as a true promise, pointing to the appearance of the Comforter. In the fifth tone, for thy name's sake, have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. Rejoice and keep right fast in O land of Russia. For thou hast revealed the new holy ark of God in who in Lewis in the faith of Christ with his writings, and expounding the laws of the Spirit, hath clearly completed the path of the spiritual life. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Rejoice and keep right fast in O land of Russia, for thou hast revealed the new holy hierarch of God Ignati, who elucidating the faith of Christ with his writings and expounding the laws of the Spirit hath clearly completed the path of the spiritual life. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Rejoice, O holy hierarch Ignati, for having loved the way of Christ's commandments from infancy, Thou didst become one of the Lord's most wonderful elect, and having passed through the furnace of temptations and troubles, thou wast a teacher of the Orthodox people, explaining the laws of eternal life. O praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye peoples. Rejoice, O thou who in the monastic ranks receive the name of the God-bearer. For while willingly enduring sickness and sorrow like a hierarchal, O holy hierarch Ignati, thou didst inscribe the name of Christ within thy heart throughout thy life. Strengthening thyself with that ceasing prayer. For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, 
and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Rejoice, O divinely wise, holy hierarch of Christ, for having searched out the true and living God, thou didst stand before Christ until the very end of thy days, strengthening thyself with unceasing prayer and love and establishing thyself by enduring every sorrow. Glory in the fourth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst strive toward eternal truth and immortality. O wondrous holy hierarchy, not he. And confessing these to thy neighbors, Thou didst call them to the love of God, and now thou shinest in the unwaning glory of eternal life in the kingdom of Christ. Both now in the sixth tone, both now in ever and unto the ages of ages of men, as the midpoint is reached between thy resurrection. Divine coming of thy Holy Spirit, O Christ, having assembled me in the mysteries of thy wonders, therefore send down upon us great mercy. traffic for her than for treasures of gold and silver, and she is more valuable than precious stones. No precious thing is equal to her in value, for length of existence and years of life are in her right hand, 
and in her left hand are wealth and glory. Out of her mouth righteousness proceedeth, and she carrieth law and mercy upon her tongue. Hearken to me, O children, for I will speak solemn truths. Blessed is the man who shall keep my ways, for my outgoings are the outgoings of life, and in them is prepared favor from the Lord. Ye, O man, do I exhort and utter my voice to the sons of men. I, wisdom, have built up upon counsel, knowledge, and understanding have I called. Counsel and safety are mine, prudence is mine, and strength is mine. I love those that love me, they that seek me shall find grace. O ye simple, understand subtlety, and ye that are untaught, imbibe knowledge. Hearken unto me again, for I will speak solemn truths. For my throat shall meditate truth, and false lips are an abomination before me. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, there is nothing in them wrong or perverse. They are all evident to those that understand, and right to those that find knowledge. For I will instruct you in truth, that your hope may be in the Lord, and ye may be filled with the Spirit. Wisdom. The reading is from Proverbs. The mouth of the righteous droppeth wisdom, but the tongue of the unjust shall perish. The lips of just men drop grace, but the mouth of the ungodly is perverse. False balances are an abomination before the Lord, but a just weight is, an accept, is acceptable unto him. Wherever pride entereth, there will also disgrace, but the mouth of the humble doth meditate wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the overthrow of the rebellious shall spoil them. Possessions shall not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness will deliver from death. When a just man dieth, he leaveth regret, but the destruction of the ungodly is speedy and causeth joy. Righteousness traceth out blameless paths, but ungodliness encountereth unjust dealing. The righteousness of upright men delivereth them, but transgressors are caught in their own destruction. At the death of a just man his hope doth not perish, but the boast of the ungodly perisheth. A righteous man escapeth from a snare, and the ungodly man is delivered up in his place. In the mouth of ungodly men is a snare for citizens, but the understanding of righteous men is prosperous. In the prosperity of righteous men a city prospereth, but at the destruction of the wicked there is exaltation. At the blessing of the upright a city shall be exalted, but by the mouths of ungodly men it is overthrown. A man void of understanding sneereth at his fellow citizens, but a sensible man is quiet. Wisdom. The reading is from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us Though the righteous be prevented with death, yet shall he be in rest. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that is measured by number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life is old age. He pleased God and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners he was translated. Yea, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding, or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, and the wandering of concupiscence doth undermine the simple mind. He being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time, for his soul pleased the Lord. Therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. This the people saw and understood not, neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints, and that he hath respect unto his chosen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray the ark and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiness, patriarch, Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend and metropolitan Alarion, first hierarch of the Russian church abroad, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our all venerable Father, the
the abbot of this holy monastery, our command right serve him and all his brethren in Christ. The Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for this land, its authorities and armed forces. The Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere late to rest. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. More than all others, we have sinned against Thee, and we have transgressed, O Master. And if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set Thyself to mercy, as Thou art almighty, free Thy suffering servants from death, bearing sickness, and grievous afflictions. Groaning in pain, we pray Thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Look down, O oh Master, who lovest mankind upon the sacrificial labors of our medical workers. Send them steadfast health, strength, and fortitude of spirit, wisdom to accomplish their work for the good of our people, and bring about through them the healing of thy suffering servants. We earnestly pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land, and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind-hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that he will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion. By the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all-venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present who await of thee great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. God, art thou the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God save the Lord to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, 
save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Things good and profitable, pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Be Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us have. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessing, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. And thy righteous shall rejoice. Thou didst traverse the sea of worldly passions and sorrows. On a seal worthy ship, a steadfast soul. Wherefore, in that thou art a great man of prayer, do thou keep our souls which are assailed by the waves of sin. In the saving ship of the Church of Christ. Glory both now in the eighth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou didst teach at the midpoint of Pentecost, O Savior, the Jews said, How does this man know the Scriptures, not having studied them? For they did not understand that thou art the wisdom who fashioned the world. Glory to thee. 
brothers, thou thy servant, depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. And mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, the light of revelation of the Gentiles, the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, with mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, with mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, with mercy on us. <clears throat> glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, God of our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of Champion of Orthodoxy, excellent teacher of repentance and prayer, divinely inspired adornment of hierarchs, glory and praise of monastics. By thy writings thou hast imbued us with purity, O harp of the Spirit, divinely wise Ignati. Great to the word, Christ God, and thou despair within thy heart, that he grant us repentance before the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. At give thou my thirsty soul to drink, of the waters of piety. For thou, O Savior, didst cry out unto all, whosoever is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Wherefore, Our God, glory to Thee. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for that forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for that forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for that forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised, let the meek hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that opened in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all ye saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Rich men are turned poor and God hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Sing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling now death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling now death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling now death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper and my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. <coughs> Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thine hand heavenly upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftinesses all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that speaks, that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me, Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. <coughs> o God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee, how often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain, if they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried in my night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thine hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. <coughs> Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out mine hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth, and that destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? <coughs> a poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar <coughs> from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. <coughs> like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days are as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thine hands. I stretch forth mine hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. 
Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. <coughs> Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God endure. For the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander and seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this land authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling, remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessing, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the 
Surrounding me, they compassed me, and by the name of the Lord, I would have appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I shall not die, but live, and I shall tell of the works of the Lord. Song which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our Thou art my foundation and refuge. 
O oh my God, deliver me out of the hand of the sinner, out of the hand of the transgressor and the unrighteous man. For Thou art my patience, O Lord, O Lord, Thou art my hope from my youth. On Thee have I been made fast from the womb, from my mother's womb, Thou art my protector. In Thee continually is my singing of praise, I am become as a wonder to many, and Thou art my strong help. Let my mouth be filled with praise, that I may him Thy glory and Thy majesty all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of mine old age, when my strength faileth, forsake me not. For mine enemies have spoken against me, and they that watched my soul took counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, pursue him, and take him, for there is none to deliver him. My God, be not far off from me, my God, be attentive unto helping me. Let them be put to shame, and brought to naught that falsely accuse my soul. Let them be covered with shame and confusion, they that seek evils for me. But as for me, I will ever hope in thee, I will add to all thy praise. My mouth shall declare thy righteousness all the day long of thy salvation, for I know not the reckoning thereof. I will commence in the might of the Lord, O Lord, I will make mention of the righteousness which is thine alone. O my God, thou hast taught me from my youth, until now will I declare thy wondrous works. Yea, even unto old age and the dignity of years, my God, forsake me not until I declare thy mighty arm to every generation that is to come. Yea, thy sovereignty and thy righteousness, O God, and declare even to the heights the great things which thou hast done for me, O God, who is like unto thee. How great are the many and evil afflictions which thou hast showed unto me, yet, having returned, thou madest me to live, and out of the depths of the earth thou broughtest me up. Thou hast multiplied thy magnificence over me, and having returned, thou hast comforted me. And out of the depths of the earth again thou broughtest me up. Therefore also will I confess thee among the peoples, O Lord, with instruments of psalmody, with the harp I will chant of thy truth unto thee, O God, O Holy One of Israel. My lips shall rejoice when I chant unto thee, yea, even my soul which thou hast redeemed. Moreover, my tongue will meditate on thy righteousness all the day long, when they be put to shame and confounded which seek evils for me. O God, give thy judgment to the King, and thy righteousness to the Son of the King, that he may judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment. Let the mountains receive peace for the people, and let the hills receive righteousness. He shall judge the beggars among the people, and shall save the sons of the poor, and shall humble the false accuser. And he shall continue as long as the sun before the moon from generation to generation. He shall come down like rain upon a fleece, and like raindrops that fall upon the earth. In his days shall righteousness dog forth in abundance of peace in the, until the moon be taken away. And he shall have dominion from sea to sea, and from the rivers even unto the ends of the inhabited earth. Before him shall the Ethiopians fall down, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tharsis and the island shall bring gifts. Kings of the Arabians and of Saba shall bring presents. And all the kings of the earth shall worship him, all the nations shall serve him. For he hath delivered the beggar from the oppressor and the poor man, for whom there was no helper. He shall spare the poor man and the pauper, and the souls of the poor shall he save. From usury and from injustices shall he redeem their souls, and precious shall be his name before them. And he shall live, and there shall be given unto him of the gold of Arabia, and they shall make prayer concerning him always. All the day long shall they bless him. He shall be a support in the earth on the summits of the mountains, exalted more than Lebanon shall be his fruit, and they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. His name shall be blessed unto the ages before the sun doth his name continue, and in him shall be blessed all the tribes of the earth, all the nations shall call him blessed. Blessed is the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone doeth wonders, and blessed is the name of his glory forever and unto the ages of ages. And all the earth shall be filled with his glory, so be it, so be it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. How good is God to Israel, to them that are upright of heart? But as for me, my feet were all but shaken, my steps well nigh had slipped. For I was jealous of the transgressors when I beheld the peace of sinners. For they make no sign of refusal in the time of their death, and they have steadfastness in the time of their scourging. 
They are not in such toils as other men, nor with other men shall they be scourged. Wherefore their pride hath utterly mastered them, and they have wrapped themselves in their injustice and ungodliness. Their injustice shall go forth as out of fatness they have passed through to their heart's intent. They have thought and spoken in wickedness, they have spoken unrighteousness and arrogance. They have set their mouth against heaven, and their tongue roveth in the earth. Therefore shall my people return hither, and full day shall be found in them. And they said, How doth God know, and is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the sinners, they prosper in this age, and have obtained riches. And I said, Surely in vain have I kept justice in my heart, and washed my hands among the innocent. And I became a man scourged all the day long, and reproof was mine in every morning. And I said, I shall speak thus, of all I should have broken covenant with the generation of thy sons. And I sought to understand, but this was toilsome in my sight, until I come into the sanctuary of God and understand therein. Surely for their crafty dealings thou hast appointed evils for them, thou hast cast them down in their exaltation. How are they come unto desolation? In a moment they have ceased to be, they have perished because of their iniquity. As a dream of one who awaketh, O Lord, in thy city, thou shalt bring their image to naught. For my heart was fired, and my reins have been changed, and I was brought to naught, and knew it not. I became as a beast before thee, and I am ever with thee. Thou hast held me by my right hand, and by thy counsel thou hast guided me, and with glory hast thou taken, to me, taken me to thyself. For what have I in heaven, and besides thee, what have I desired upon earth? My heart and my flesh have failed, O God of my heart, and God is my portion forever. For behold, they that remove themselves from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all that go whoring from thee. But it is good for me to cleave unto God, to put my hope in the Lord, that I may declare all thy praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. O God, why hast thou cast us off unto the end? Why hath thine anger raged against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased from the beginning. Thou hast redeemed the rod of thine inheritance, this Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Lift up thy hands against their pride at the end, against the things which the enemy hath wickedly done in thy holy place. And, and they that hate thee have boasted in the midst of thy feast. They set up their insides, yea, signs, though they knew it not, as it were, for the departing on high. As in a forest of trees with axes, they cut down the doors thereof together with two-edged axe and mason's hammer, there have they broken it down. With fire have they burned down thy sanctuary, they have profaned even unto the ground the habitation of thy name. They said in their heart, even the whole kindred of them together, Come, let us abolish all the feasts of God from the earth. Our signs have we not seen, there is no more any prophet, and he will know us no more. How long, O God, shall the enemy utter reproaches, shall the adversary shall the adversary provoke thy name to the end? Wherefore turnest away thy hand and thy right hand out of the midst of thy bosom forever? But God is our king before the ages, he hath wrought salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou didst establish the sea by thy might. Thou didst break the heads of the dragons in the water. Thou didst crush the head of the dragon. Thou gavest him as food to the Ethiopian peoples. Thou hast cloven fountains and torrents. Thou hast dried up the rivers of Athen. Thine is the day, and thine is the night. Thou hast perfected the light and the sun. Thou hast made all the borders of the earth, summer and spring, as thou fashioned. Be mindful of this thy creation. The enemy hath reproached the Lord, and the mindless people hath provoked thy name. O oh, deliver not unto beasts the soul which thou confess thee. O oh, the souls of thy paupers be not forgetful unto the end. Look thou upon thy covenant for the dark places of the earth. The earth are filled with the houses of iniquity. Let not the humbled and shamed man be turned away. The beggar and the poor man shall praise thy name. Arise, O oh God, judge thine own cause. Remember the reproach made against thee by the mindless man all the day long. Forget not the voice of thy suppliants, the pride of them that hate thee ascendeth continually. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We will confess Thee, O God, we will confess Thee, and we will call upon Thy name. I will tell of all Thy wonders, and I am given the appointed time. I will judge uprightly. 
The earth is melted, and all that dwell therein, and his eyes are made steadfast, the pillars thereof. I said to the transgressors, Do not transgress, and to the sinners, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high, and speak not unrighteousness against God. For judgment cometh not from the byways, nor from the west, nor from the desert mountains, for God is judge. This man he humbleth, and another he exalteth, for in the hand of the Lord there is a brimming cup of unmingled wine. And he hath inclined it from side to side, but the dregs thereof were not fully emptied out. All the sinners of the earth shall drink of them. But as for me, I will rejoice forever. I will chant unto the God of Jacob. And all the horns of the sinners will I break, but the horn of the righteous man shall be exalted. In Judea is God known, his name is great in Israel. And his place hath been made in peace, and his dwelling in Zion. There did he break the power of the bow, the weapon, and the sword in the battle. Thou shinest wondrously from the everlasting mountains. All the foolish of heart were troubled. They have slept their sleep, and all the men of wealth have found nothing in their hands. At thy rebuke, O God of Jacob, they that had mounted upon horses fell slumber. Thou art to be feared, and who shall withstand thee? From thenceforth is thy wrath, thou shalt cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still, when God rose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth. For the inward thought of man shall give praise unto thee, and the remainder of his inward thought shall keep a feast to thee. Make your vows and pay them to the Lord our God. All that are round about him shall bring gifts to him that is to be feared, and taketh away the spirits of princes to him that is to be feared among the kings of the earth. With my voice unto the Lord I cried, with my voice unto God, and he was attentive unto me. In the day of mine afflictions I sought out God with my hands upraised by night before him, and I was not deceived. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was glad. I spake in idleness, and my spirit became faint-hearted. Mine eyes were wakeful before the watches. I was troubled and spake not. I thought upon the days of old and the years of ages past. I called to mind and I meditated. By night I pondered in my heart and my spirit searched diligently. Will the Lord then cast me off into the ages and will he be favorable no more? Or will he cut off his mercy unto the end, that he brought to an end his word from generation to generation? Or will the Lord forget to be merciful, or in his wrath will he shut up his compassions forever? And I said, Now I have made a beginning, this change hath been wrought by the right hand of the Most High. I remember the works of the Lord, for I will remember thy wonders from the beginning, and I will meditate on all thy works, and I shall ponder upon thy ways. O God, in the sanctuary is thy way. What God is as great as our God, thou art God who workest wonders. Thou hast made thy power known among the peoples. With thine arm hast thou redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The, wa the water saw thee, O God, the water saw thee, and were afraid, the abysses were troubled. Great was the resounding sound of the waters, the clouds gave forth a voice. Yea, for thine arrows passed abroad, the voice of thy thunders in their roll. And thy lightnings of light in the world, the earth was shaken and it trembled. In the sea are thy byways, and thy paths, and many waters, and thy footsteps shall not be known. Thou lettest thy people as sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Paki, paki, mirom, Gospodu, pomolim si ja. Gospodi, zastupni, spasi, pomiloj, sotrani nas, pomože, tvoji urodaki. Vesti o tebi vreći, stojdu pred blagoslavenoju, slavnoju, vladečicu, našo bogorodicu i priznare v Mariju. So vsemi svijetimi pomenovši, sami sebje i drug druga, i vješ je vod naš, Kristu, Bogu, predati. Having been united to Christ by many prayers and sorrows in thy life, O holy hierarch Ignati, Thou wast an excellent teacher and helper of thy people. Pray for those who honor thy memory, O blessed one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Thou didst say, O Father, that to ponder the incarnation of God the Word, His saving sufferings, and His resurrection, is a degree of spiritual vision, which do Thou vouchsafe us to acquire by Thy prayers, O Venerable One, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Standing in the temple on the mid-feast of the honored Pentecost, the Master of all conversed with the Jews, and as He was King and God, with great boldness He openly rebuked their audacious tyranny, and in his compassion he granted great mercy to us all. <coughs> Praise ye the name of the Lord, alleluia, O ye servants. Praise the Lord, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I 
Let us attend wisdom, let us attend the Prokimenon in the fourth tone. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. What shall I render unto the Lord for all that he hath rendered unto me? Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Holy art thou, O our God, and our restest in the saints, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Let every breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. And that he will vouchsafe unto us the hearing of the Holy Gospel, let us pray unto the Lord God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, all right, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all, and to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Crucifixion, 
He hath destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, and hidden in secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this up, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt... Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities, creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with all burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and all burnt offerings, and shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the this mystery with the fear of God and without condemnation. Save, O God, thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the Lord of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thine abundant mercies. Through the intercessions of our Immaculate Lady Theotokos and Ever-Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the mediations of the Honorable Heavenly Bodiless Hosts, of the Honorable Glorious Prophet, Forerunner, and Baptist John, of the Holy, Glorious, and All-Praised Apostles, of the Holy Apostle James, the brother of St. John the Theologian, and the other holy, glorious, and all-praised Apostles, of our fathers among the saints, and great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Myra in Lycia, of the holy equals of the apostles, Methodius and Kirill, teachers of the Slavs, 
of the holy right believing and equal of the apostles, great Prince Vladimir and the blessed great Princess of Russia, holy God, of our fathers among the saints, the wonder workers of all Russia, Michael, Peter, Alexis, Jonah, Philip, Macarius, Demetrius, Mitrophon, Tikhon, Theodosius, Yosef, Germigan, Peter, Reminiscent, and John, of the holy Iro martyrs and confessors, Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, Vladimir of Kiev, Benjamin and Joseph of Petrograd, Peter of Kretitsa, Kirill of Gazal, Gathangal of Yaroslavl, Andronicus of Perm, Germigan of Tobols, of the, the priest John, John, Peter, and Philosoph, and all the new Iro martyrs and confessors of the Russian Church, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, the holy, glorious, great martyr, trophy bearer, and wonder worker George, the holy, great martyr, and healer of Hanalim, and the holy, great martyr Barbara, and the holy, right believing Russian princes and passion bearers. Boris and Glav and Igor, and the holy right believing passion bearers, Tsar Mother Nicholas, Aritza Mother Alexandra, the martyr crown Prince Alexis, and the royal martyrs Olga, Tatiana, Maria, and Anastasia, and the holy nun martyrs Grand Duchess Elizabeth and Nun Barbara, and all the new martyrs of Russia. Of our holy and God-bearing fathers, Anthony and Theodosius of the Kiev Caves, Sergius, the abbot of Radonesh, and Seraphim, the wonder-worker of sorrow, Job, abbot and wonder-worker of Pachayev, of the holy righteous John of Kronstadt, of the holy and blessed Xenia, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, Herman of Alaska, Paisius, village Kovsky, Leo, Macarius, Ambrose, and the other elders of Optina, the hierarchs, innocent of Moscow, Nicholas of Japan, John of Shanghai, and San Francisco, and our holy father Ignati, bishop of the Caucasus and the Black Sea, whose memory we celebrate, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, we pray thee, O Lord, plenteous in mercy, hearken unto us sinners that pray unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea, with dry shod feet, Israel of old, and pushed the might of Amalek in the wilderness, by Moses' arm stretched out in the form of the cross. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The great benefactions of thy divine incarnation, which pass understanding, the gifts and graces and divine splendors which pour forth graciously, shine upon us. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou didst come at the, mid- at the midpoint of the feast, so Christ, manifestly emitting the splendors of divinity. For thou art the joyous feast of the saved and the mediator of our salvation. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou wast for us wisdom, righteousness, and deliverance from death, O Lord, passing over from earth to the heights of heaven and bestowing the divine spirit. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. In the grave thy flesh did not see corruption, O Master, but since it had been formed without seed, it did not suffer decay in transcendent manner, not serving the order of nature. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. <coughs> Shock your hands, ye nations, we go, ye Jews. The Christ, the bestower of life, hath broken the bonds of Hades, hath raised up the dead and cured the sick by his word. He is our God, who giveth life to those who believe in his name. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. 
Thou didst show forth a miracle, turning water into wine, O Master, who in Egypt turned the rivers into blood. <clears throat> and thou hast raised up the dead, completing this second sign. Glory to thine ineffable counsel, glory to thy self abasement, whereby thou hast renewed us. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. As the ever flowing stream of true life, O Lord, thou art our resurrection, although thou didst labor, O my Savior, and didst willingly endure thirst, submitting to the laws of nature, and having gone to sick eye in the flesh, thou didst ask the Samaritan woman for water to drink. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou didst bless loaves of bread, O unapproachable God, didst multiply fishes, and didst abundantly feed the people, and didst promise an ever-flowing spring of wisdom unto those who thirst. Thou art God, our Savior, who givest life unto those who believe in thy name. O holy and thy heart, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. Thou didst traverse the spiritual route that doth lead to the living God, the holy hierarchy Ignati, clearly showing how to properly travel along the path of earthly life by heeding the teachings of Christ. O holy hierarch, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. Thou didst behold, O Father, the first step on the ladder of the evangelical virtues, poverty of spirit, and the testament thou didst give was this, to follow it, to love it, and to put it at the beginning of the spiritual path. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The poverty of spirit, thou didst say, is the salt of all spiritual sacrifices, because it is the first beatitude mentioned in the Holy Gospel of Christ. All other beatitudes, meekness, mercy, and purity of heart, follow after it and are perfected by it. <clears throat> Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of the Light, most pure Theotokos, having completed thy saving life on earth with thy Son and God, Strengthen us, unworthy ones, rescue us from sins, and prepare us to walk toward eternal truth. <laughs> Thou didst bring the sea together, and no thing brought Pharaoh in his army, and didst save the people dry shot, O Lord, and thou didst lead them to the mountain of holiness. And they cried, We sing unto thee, our God, have him a victory, for thou hast been glorified. Thy church rejoiceth in thee, O Christ, crying aloud, Thou art my strength, O Lord, my refuge and my confirmation. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou didst dispel the springs of edifying waters to the church, O good one, crying out, If anyone thirst, let him come eagerly and drink. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou didst most manifestly say that thou wouldst be upborn from earth to heaven, and didst promise to send the Holy Spirit from heaven. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The Lord, who is by nature life creating, and was born of the Virgin, hath, in that he is compassionate, granted immortality to the faithful. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Be not one to judge by appearances, O Jews, for Christ is come, whom the prophets called, he who cometh from Zion and restored the world. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Even if you do not believe his words, O Jews, believe the works of the Master. Why do you deceive yourselves, ye who reject the Holy One, and whom Moses wrote in the law? Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. If the, Messiah, if the Messiah must surely come, O ye Jews, then Christ hath come as the Messiah. Why delude yourselves, ye who reject the righteous one of whom Moses wrote in the law? Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. We worship thee, O Father, who art unoriginated in essence, and we piously him, thy Son, who is equally without beginning, and the most Holy Spirit is the three who are one God in essence. Holy Heart, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. While manifesting Christ's truth in thy life, O holy hierarch of Christ, Ignati, on this path thou dost learn to weep and sob over evil deeds and to flee unto the Savior of the world. O holy hierarch, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. In thy youth thou dost shed monastic tears in thy cell, bitterly lamenting the captivity of man's soul and mind and the destruction of the temple of his heart, which God hath created for his lofty service. From all of these, only the one God-man and Savior can rescue us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And again, by acquiring tears in the monastic life, O Father, thou didst overcome all obstacles, distancing thee from God. For the sake of that weeping, remember us who honor thy holy memory, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most pure virgin, 
who doth assuage our sorrows and griefs, grant us saving tears that before thee we may weep over the abyss of our evils and unrighteousness. My heart is established in the Lord, my word is exalted in my God. My mouth is impartial for my enemies. I am glad in thy salvation. Hethi kheti inimi tu gilio de tomen. Kyrie. Anadabos so sanere san kheti atak san yamos so teos tisi karite. Is parigia sanan i prento dimis in nox adis finissimo de auto. Kheti watena marias. Vete panto andona giom en yaman er santes. De aftos ke animos ke pasentin so nimo. Christo to teo pare tometo.
seeking the mysteries of monastic life, O blessed Ignati, thou didst learn that it is fitting to repent, and that monastic labor is nothing other than the work of unceasing repentance. O holy Herod, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. In repentance, tears, and weeping over evil deeds, O Father, thou dost behold the way of salvation that doth lead to heavenly life, which lieth before every one who doth bear the name of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou dost say, O Venerable Father, that it is needful to cut off the passions by repentance, and by repentance to acquire good works. And if our eye fail to behold the depth of our sinfulness, we will not attain eternal salvation, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, surety and helper of sinners, Firmly establish us on the path to God with true repentance. And guide us by the perception of our sins and confession. With noetic eyes, the prophet Habakkuk foresaw thy coming, O Lord. Wherefore he cried aloud, God shall come out of Taman. Glory to thy power, glory to thy condescension. Thou hast come, O my Lord, as a light into the world, a holy light, turning from the darkness of ignorance those who hate and thee with faith. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Having reached the midpoint between the divine peace, let us make haste to learn what was wrought by the power of God, O ye divinely wise. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Truly sacred is this solemnity of, this, of the midpoint, Feast, for it is the root of the all great feasts, and deriveth life from both of them. Glory to thee, I God, glory to thee. <coughs> thou didst adorn thine apostles with miracles, and didst magnify the disciples with wonders, and hast glorified them throughout the world of our Saviour, giving them thy kingdom. Glory to thee, I God, glory to thee. The disciples enlightened all the ends of the earth with miracles and teachings, preaching the word of the word of thy kingdom, O Christ our Saviour, in diverse ways. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. We send up praise to thy kingdom, and we offer hymnody unto thee, O Word, who for our sake appeared on earth, hast enlightened the world, and restored Adam. Holy Lord, <coughs> Father Ignati, pray to God for us. By providing our soul with weeping and unceasing repentance, O Father Ignati, thou art shown to be a man of prayer, having loved it from thy childhood, and thou dost set it as the foundation of thy spiritual life. Holy Herod, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. Having strengthened thy life with fervent prayer from thy youth, thou dost persevere in thy struggle for prayer to Christ God until thine end, whereby thou dost establish thyself in Christ the Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having come to the age of manhood, being a director of monks, and experiencing diverse sorrows, thou dost reap true freedom and tranquility, O all blessed Father, through steadfast and unceasing prayer with many tears, <clears throat> both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O most pure virgin, mother of Christ God, crown of unsleeping prayer, entreat God on our behalf, and by thy prayers rescue us sinners from adversities and sorrows. Grant us peace, O Lord our God, O Lord our God, take us for thy possession. O Lord, we know none other than Thee, we call upon Thy name. I will sacrifice to Thee with a voice of praise, O Lord, the Church crieth unto Thee. Cleanse of the blood of demons, by the blood which for mercy sake flowed from Thy side. Glory to Thee, our God, glory to Thee. The midpoint of Pentecost hath dawned today, shining forth with most divine splendor from the divine Pascha, and from thence spreading the light of the grace of the Comforter. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. <coughs> Standing forth in the temple, O Christ, thou didst speak to the assemblies of the Jews, making manifest thy glory and revealing beforehand thy kinship with the Father. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Jesus, who sustainest all the ends of the earth, thou didst go up and teach the word of the truth to the people in the temple at the midpoint of the feast, as John crieth out, Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. <clears throat> thou didst open thy lips, O Master, and preach to the world of thy <coughs> Father and O Most Holy Spirit, of both of whom thou didst preserve thy kinship even after thine incarnation. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. 
Thou didst do the work of the Father, and didst lend credence to thy words by thy deeds, working healings and signs, O Savior, restoring the paralytic, cleansing lepers, and raising up the dead. <clears throat> glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. The beginning of the Son received a blessed a beginning and assuming our humanity <clears throat> when he became man, and at the mid feast he taught, saying, Hasty to the ever flowing fountain and draw forth life. The Holy Lord, Father, Ignatius, <clears throat> God for us. Thou was the teacher of noetic prayer, O Father Ignati, clearly showing how we must stand before the face of Christ and pray with repentance. O Holy Hierarch, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. Thou didst teach, O Father, that during prayer it is meet to stand in the choir of lepers, blind, deaf, and lame, and thus from a broken heart, from the poverty of our spirit, to strive to pray to Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When silence doth blow in the heart during prayer, along with peace toward all, meekness, compassion, and love for man, then thou didst teach, O Father, we will learn that these were accomplished by the grace of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, incomprehensible receptacle of the Holy Spirit, pray for us mortals and direct our prayers unto God. Like the waters of the sea am I tossed about, by the waves of life, O Thou who lovest mankind. Wherefore, like Jonah, I cry to Thee, lead up my life from corruption, O compassionate Lord. Bona io attraverso la gemma senta al Senhor. Senhor. of the iniquitous Jews, and she believed thee to be the Son of God, whom they denied. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O Savior, thou hast promised to bestow an ever-flowing fountain of the water of immortality, 
pouring forth the water of life for those who with faith receive thy spirit, who proceedeth from the Father. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. With five loaves thou didst feed thousands of hungry, O Savior, and the remnants thou didst multiply to feed other thousands, showing forth thy glory to thy sacred disciples. O Holy Mary, our Father, not in praise to God for us. <coughs> In the wintry barrenness of tree branches, O Father, Thou dost contemplate the mystery of the resurrection of the dead. For even as the tree in its own time is covered with leaves, so the bones of men will revive, and being clothed with flesh will enter the new world. O Holy Hierarch, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. Thou dost learn, O Father, as much as is possible, the mystery concerning the end of man's life, and the mystery of the end of nature and the soul of man for which thou dost give thanks unto God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou dost confess the one God alone, the Spirit of truth, the all-perfect one. And bowing down before him, O Father, we magnify thee, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin Mary, Mother of the ineffable life, protect us sinners from mental falls, and strengthen the divine teaching of the Holy Church in our hearts. Look on the furnace burning with fire, was be through by the Spirit through the presence of God, and the children chanted, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. Stretching forth his hands, Daniel shut the lion's mouths in the pit, and the young lovers of piety girded about with virtue. Wish the power of the fire crying out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Arising from the tomb as one comely adorned with the glory of the divinity, thou didst appear to thine apostles, O Lord, promising to send the activity of the Spirit unto those who cry, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Having slain Hades as God, the origin of life, upon all thou didst pour forth life everlasting, which the joys of these splendid days manifestly embody for those who cry, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Appearing as the Son of Righteousness, O Christ, into the world thou didst send forth like rays thine apostles who bear thee, the unapproachable light, who take away the darkness of ignorance and cry out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Come, ye people, and behold him who is him on the throne of glory, but is blasphemed by Nicholas men, <coughs> and seeing him the Messiah who is foretold by the prophets. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Thou art truly the Christ who art come into the world, from whom cometh salvation and the remission of our fathers' offenses. Thou art truly life for those who believe in thee. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. The wisdom of God stood forth and taught in the temple at the midpoint of the feast, as is written, He is truly Christ the Messiah, from whom cometh salvation. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. On the Sabbath and all other days, Christ showed forth the workings of signs, healing those with diverse infirmities, but the deluded people gnashed their teeth with rage. The Holy Hair, our Father Ignati, pray to God for us. Thou didst love to serve the brethren with the word of God, O Father, and this service was the activity of thy life. And to us it is immutable joy as we cry out to thee. Do not leave us for us with thy words and prayers, O Father. O Holy Hierarch, Father Ignati, pray to God for us. In serving the word, thou didst hear in thy soul the voice of surety and salvation. Wherefore, thou didst most sincerely love thy neighbors and that same divine word. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou dost teach thy neighbor, the holy hierarch, that our Savior is heavenly fire, acting in the words of his gospel, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, birth giver of God the Word, grant speech unto thy servants, that they might proclaim the mystery of thine all-merciful intercession, appearing in the mystery of the birth of the Word, Christ God. <laughs> We praise, we bless, we worship the Lord, praising and exalting His supreme for all ages. Holy angels in heaven, the praise and exalting supreme, Him who sitteth upon the throne of glory, and as God a 
the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee. Possessed of a cup of inexhaustible gifts, grant that I may draw forth water unto the remission of sins, for I am beset by thirst, O holy, loving, and compassionate one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, having received the most glorious name of the God bearer in monasticism, O Father Ignati, all honorable hierarch, with unceasing prayer, thou didst settle Christ within thy heart, and wast a teacher, leading to the unwaning light becoming a holy God-bearer in truth, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who art possessed of a cup of inexhaustible gifts, grant that I may draw forth water unto the remission of sins, for I am beset by thirst, O only loving and compassionate one. Let every breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest, to the is to praise, O God. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts, to the is to praise, O God. Praise Him, O sun and moon. Praise Him, all ye stars and light. Praise Him, ye heavens of heavens, and the waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spake, and they came to be. He commanded, and they were created. He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He hath set an ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons, and all ye abysses. Fire, hail, snow, ice, blast of tempest, which perform his word. The mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. The beasts and all the cattle, <coughs> creeping things and winged birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all the judges of the earth, young men and virgins, elders with the younger, let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of him alone. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. This is the hymn for all his saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise is in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. With the timbrel and the psaltery, let them chant unto mm -hmm. him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt and make with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their throat, and two-edged sword shall be in their hands. To do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the peoples to bind their kings with fetters, and their nobles with manacles of iron, to do among them the judgment that is written. This glory shall be to all his saints, the wisdom and power, the effulgence of the Father, the eternal Word and Son of God, came to the temple in the flesh and taught the cruel and ungrateful Jewish people, and they marveled at the richness of his wisdom, crying, Whence knoweth he the scriptures, not having studied with anyone? Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. The Lord and Messiah stop the mouths of the scribes and rebuke the Jews, crying out to them, Judge not by appearance, like the unrighteous, O ye violators of the law. For I have raised up a paralytic on the Sabbath, wherefore I am the Lord of the Sabbath and the law. Why seek ye to save me, who have raised up the dead? Raise him for his mighty acts. Raise him according to the multitude of his greatness. 
the thankless assembly of the Jews, cruel violators of the law, stoned novels to death, and then got Isaiah asunder with a saw, and cast the wise Jeremiah into a pit, and having lifted the Lord up upon the cross, they cried out, O thou who wouldst destroy the temple, Save thyself and we will believe. Give tone, praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and heart. In thy life thou didst teach, O venerable one, that the heart of man doth find calm when it doth walk in the commandments of Christ. For it is good unto salvation to paint the image of Christ on the soul. Wherefore, O Father, graciously vouchsafe us to fulfill them as well by thy prayer. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Thou didst zealously follow Christ, holy hierarch, not he, having put aside everything worldly, and having shouldered the Lord's cross. Thou didst reach the path of perfection. To this path do thou also lead us, O Father, by thy prayers. Praise him with tuneful mm-hmm. symbols, praise him with symbols of tribulation. Let every breath praise the Lord. Come, O assembly of God's people, and ardently draw near to the ever-flowing spring. The holy hierarch and naughty God-bearer of Russia, and extol him supplicating zealously, grant enlightenment to our souls. O holy hierarch, by thy prayers. Glory both now in the fourth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having been enlightened by the resurrection of Christ the Savior, and reach the midpoint of the feast of the Lord. O brethren, let us most ardently keep the commandments of God, that we may be worthy to celebrate also the ascension, and to receive the coming of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And O Holy Spirit, O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, and Thou only art the Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art Thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise Glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. 
Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, O my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. O champion of orthodoxy, excellent teacher of repentance and prayer, <coughs> divinely inspired and drummond of hierarchs, glory and praise of monastics, by thy writings thou hast imbued us with purity. O harp of the Spirit, divinely wise Ignati, pray to the Word, Christ God, and thou despair within thy heart, that he grant us repentance before the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. At Give thou my thirsty soul to drink of the waters of piety. For thou, O Savior, didst cry out unto all, whosoever is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. More than all others, 
we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master. And if we have not acquired repentance instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from death-bearing sickness and grievous afflictions. Groaning in pain, we pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Look down, O Master, lover of mankind, upon the sacrificial labors of our medical workers. Send them steadfast health, strength, and fortitude of spirit, wisdom to accomplish their work for the good of our people, and bring about through them the healing of thy suffering servants. We earnestly pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. That thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and, and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. <clears throat> Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and, and have mercy. <clears throat> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray that he will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for them that bring offerings and new good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present that await of thee great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Mm. Grant us, O Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling great reverence, our most holy, most pure, most Sing glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord, our God, have mercy, compassion, and love for mankind. Then unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Never and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Father and 
into the Son, into the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. More honorable than the cherubim, than the uncompare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the we magnify. Christ, God, our hope, glory to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, for the intercession, who rose from the dead, for the intercession of His most pure Mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostle James, brother of St. John the Theologian, of the holy, uh, great martyr and healer, Pantalaemon, of our holy father, Hierarch Ignatius, bishop of the Caucasus and the Black Sea, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great God and Father, pure ill, most holy patriarch of Moscow and Russia, our Lord, the very most reverend in our region, Metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, the old venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Seraphim, the brethren of this holy monastery and all Orthodox Christians, preserve, O Lord, for many years. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and on those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and on those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and on those in the tombs bestowing life. Unto my words give you, O Lord, hear my cry, attend unto the voice of my supplication, and my kingdom, my God, come unto thee, while I pray, O Lord. In the morning thou shalt hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and thou shalt look upon me, for not a God that willest iniquity art thou. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgressors abide before thine eyes. Thou hast aided all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy all them that speak a lie. A man that is bloody and deceitful shall the Lord abhor, but as for me and the multitude of thy mercy shall I go into thy house. I shall worship for thy holy temple and fear thee. O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies make straight my way before thee. <coughs> for in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues have they spoken deceitfully. Judge them, O God, let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out, for they have admitted thee, O Lord, open thee. They shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them, and all shall glory in thee, that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous. O Lord, as the shield of thy good ple- pleasure hast thou crowned us. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation, before the mountains came to thee, and the earth was formed in the world, even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn not man away into lowliness, yea, thou hast said, Turn back, ye sons of men, for a thousand years in thine eyes, O Lord, are but as yesterday that is past, and as a watch in the night. Things of no account shall their years be, in the morning like grass shall men pass away. In the morning shall he bloom and pass away, in the evening shall he fall and grow withered and dry. For we have fainted away in thy wrath, and in thine anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life stands in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are faded away, and in thy wrath are we fainted away. Our years have like a spider spun out their tail. As for the days of our years and their span, they be threescore years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have fourscore years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For mildness has come upon us, and we shall be chastened. 
who knoweth the light of thy wrath, and out of fear of thee who can recount thine anger. So make them return, O Lord, how long and be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad. In all our days let us be glad, for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils. And look upon thy servants, and look on thy works, and do thou guide their sons, and let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands do thou guide aright upon us. Yea, the work of our hands do thou guide aright. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path, and wilt thou come unto me. I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart hath not cleaved unto me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him whose eye was proud and his heart insatiate, I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land that they might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord all them that work iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. In the midst of the feast, give thou my thirsty soul to drink of the waters of piety, for thou, O Savior, didst cry out to all, Whosoever is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Wherefore, O wellspring of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O champion of orthodoxy, orthodoxy excellent teacher of repentance and prayer, divinely inspired adornment of hierarchs, glory and praise of monastics, by thy writings thou hast imbued us with purity. O harp of the Spirit, divinely wise Ignati, pray to the word, Christ God, whom thou didst bear within thy heart, that he grant us repentance before the end, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O thou that art full of grace? Heaven, for thou hast donned forth the sun of righteousness. Paradise, for thou hast blossomed forth the flower of immortality. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure Mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son, the God of all. Do thou entreat him to save our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. There is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the midst of the Judaic feast, thou didst say to those present, O Christ God, Master and Creator of all, come ye and receive the water of immortality. Wherefore we fall down before thee, crying out in faith and saying, Grant us thy mercy and compassion, for thou art the wellspring of our life. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipping glorified, O Christ God. 
who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who callest all to salvation with the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, and guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of an unapproachable glory. For blessed are thou unto the ages of ages, Amen. For have mercy, but have mercy, but have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the very magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. And be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. For Christ, the true light, who enlightenest and sanctifiest every man that cometh into the world, let the light of thy countenance be signed upon us, that in it we may see the unapproachable light, and guide our steps from the doing of thy commandments to the intercessions of thy most pure mother and of all thy saints. Amen. Thank you. 